Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> um, we're off to the Val race course today in um, near Vienichen. Actually, like the card, eh, funnily enough. Um, I think we've got a few um, standout ones, and then we've got a few that we can play around with. But um, yeah, generally, I'm really looking forward to the card. So we'll start off in race one. I just want to adjust a few things here, if you don't mind. I'll move the camera maybe just a little bit to this side so I can see everything. That's perfect. Uh, we'll start off in race one where there's been a lot of, um, there's been a little bit of money for leading fast and a little bit of nibbles on a horse called Arabella Queen. Um, for me, do you know what? Uh, even though generally I don't like horses that um, have run seconds and thirds too many times, I really felt that the uh, now Cornace piece trained um, and Musieni ridden uh, Madame Patrice was the right one. You know, um, Cornet's name appears in the computer form again, which is fantastic. Um, and um, out of Stallgate 14, you know, it might even just go up against that outside rail and have something to run with. And, 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 and I think that this Crusade filly today could really put them to the sword. Um, of course, the um, the Silvano filly leading fast is well-bred, but, you know, these Silvanos, over five furlongs, you know, they, they, they need to be Pegasus, really. And um, and I'm going to stick with Madame Patrice. If you're looking for something to get the day going, then Madame Patrice will, will will do you justice in some form. You know, maybe just have a place bet or or something along those lines. You know, we, it's all about profit, 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 um, and um, we'll attempt to get profit every day, even if sometimes it doesn't work out that way. We'll try and minimise our losses by playing strategically. So Madame Patrice, I think, is a good thing today to be in the frame, and I, I'm going to back her. Fortunately, I live in the UK. I'm going to back her in a cover bet probably cover bet two or cover bet three. So that's Madame Patrice in race one. We move over to race two. <laughs> this is an interesting race. Um, this is interesting because apart from um, apart from Donald Trump, the only other thing that I've been hearing for the last five or six weeks is Brexit and Bassam. Three things, Donald Trump, Brexit and Bassam. Um, I'm told this thing can run. Um, they were going to run it the other day, it's running today, they've smashed it 3 to 1 into evens, for all intents and purposes this first and get tricks um, cult um, has a little bit of ability and could quite easily put these to the sword. Um, it's not a bad entry level maiden, you know, there's an average merit rating of 70, so, you know, um, it's going to have to be okay-ish to win this race but I'm told like I said that um, today's the day and Bassam's the one you want to back. Um, in the third race we've got an interesting race we've got a progress plate again I, I sometimes avoid these races because they can be quite tricky um, but visually um, I was quite taken with the way Frosted Steel won so I'm going to give this filly the benefit of the doubt and say that she'll win again. Um, and I'm going to go for Frosted Steel in the third race. Quickly on to the fourth race. These staying races, they take their turns, don't they? This one will win this week, that one will win next week. Um, but this isn't a handicap, it's a pinnacle. And all of a sudden, Sunshine Silk and Ali Bond Dubai, who met last time out, there wasn't much between them then. And I mean, it's actually still in Sunshine Silk's favour. So for me, again, Callan Murray, Sunshine Silk is the one to be with. Um, not overly inspiring, but probably how they are going to run, you know. Um, so so we'll go with that over there. I'll, I'll do a full recap now to, to, to drown out the waffling that happens in between. Uh, we'll move over to the fifth race quickly. It's an open looking race, isn't it? Um, you can choose almost anything, um, but probably the right one to go with is Warren Kennedy, going for the championship, riding for Gary Alexander, out of Stallgate uh, number one, over 2,400 meters, has been running there or thereabouts. 
ran in a much tougher race last time out, admittedly only carried 55 and a half kilos, carrying um, a little bit more pudding today, carrying 60 kilos. But, you know, this horse, since they put the blinkers in the tongue tower, this horse has really, really run to a much better level of form. And Master and Man, again, not very inspiring. It's near the top of the betting board, but that'll be there or thereabouts. Um, as I said at the start, I quite like today's card because it just looks quite easy. Obviously, it's going to end in tears. We all know that, but it doesn't stop us from having a go and having a bit of a play. Um, we'll move over to the sixth race. Um, it's not often that I'm able to even go through all the races because some races just look so challenging and I just like give up on them. But even the sixth race, I thought, you know what, uh, this race, is it that tricky? I don't think so. I don't think it's that tricky at all. If I fancy Sunshine Shulk earlier, I've got to fancy major return over here. Samunga riding for Michael Azzi. Again, top of the boards, but it looks like it's got this field in its pocket. I've got to go for that. Ragoon's got a chance to fire gravity. It is a, a slightly more open race than some of the previous ones, but I really fancy major return. I really do. Seventh race. What can we say? Now we're getting a bit more into the realms of 